It's mother effing arm day. I'm pretty much burned out from a long day of doing everything except making comic books. But it's only 10 o'clock, so with that in mind, I can still squeeze in a cool hour of some sketching, uh, figure drawing, design, and invention written by Michael Hampton. So I'm going to be going through the arm section and start with learning the parts, naming the parts, because the better you can think about something, the better you can draw it. I won't be going over the names because there's plenty of videos that do that much better than I do, but I decided to write them down for my own personal understanding. I used two different methods on these drawings. This first method is a standard construction. When you start with kind of a stick figure, add some lumps. I try not to think of these lumps as contours, but rather lumps of clay so that they have some kind of three-dimensional form. And you'll notice that a lot of these are, are kind of like cones because they, they tend to um, taper as they sew into the bones and ligaments. When making studies, I try to draw different angles inside of the arm, outside, and the back, and then I just kind of go nuts. These are more constructions. That's a um, tricep detail. And then I decided to do a little bit of light foreshortening, which I think I did pretty horribly. After that, I decided to spend a little bit more time on the forms. Uh, so I did a kind of 3D grid construction with a type of perspective. What follows are my life drawing observation sketches, which I used photo reference, easily found on Google, just by looking up arms or arm model or shirtless model. You'll notice that these drawings have a lot less uh, definition, even though it is a muscular arm, it doesn't have the same bulbous look as the um, constructed ones. And to reinforce a muscular subtlety, I decided to draw a non-massive arm then followed by a chiseled arm. Regardless, you can see that the muscle subtlety is definitely there compared to the constructed examples. For my own personal goals, I'm trying to fall somewhere in the middle between this kind of hyper-realistic style and a constructed cartoony style. I like to round out my practice with a little foreshortening, especially because it's a uh, kind of a weak point for me, as well as many artists from what I've come to understand. Um, and yeah, this one, I kind of feel it was pretty rough in the start, and I kind of got it towards the end. Um, so that just tells me I need to do this more often. I really like the observation pieces, but I'm using those to then be able to construct better, because my goal is to not ever need a photo reference down the road. I don't think that one method is better than the other. I think you kind of need a well-rounded knowledge of both to produce good results. So practice both.